Hello and welcome. Let's discuss Project 2, the newsletter. As you begin, you'll find your student learning objectives, some resources for writing newsletters, a sample newsletter that I did many years ago for my employer, some other student work samples, and as always, our project expectations. For this project, you'll want to review Chapter 6 to help you understand what to include in a newsletter. The idea here is that you're making a newsletter for a professional organization or a group that you belong to, something that would be suitable for mailing out to members or potential members, other interested parties. You can provide your own copy, your own text. In other words, don't pull stories from the internet. This has to be all your own writing. You need to use images and other graphic elements. You can use any program that you like to make your newsletter, but your final project has to be turned in as a PDF. Publisher is great for this if you have it as part of your Microsoft Office suite, but it can be done in Word or other programs that you're already familiar with. Some ideas for a topic could include your sorority or fraternity, a church that you belong to, a civic organization, a club, something from the school or the university, a foundation or a nonprofit. Those are all great organizations to make a newsletter for, the types of places that would be putting out updates to their members. Things that you might include in your newsletter are information for an upcoming membership drive, perhaps a member profile to highlight someone who's done something great or won an award, maybe a calendar of upcoming events. If you're running out of ideas and need to fill a half page or an extra page, a calendar is a great way to do that. You can include a listing of your board members with a little paragraph about each of them to tell who they are or other important people to your organization. And then there's also this link that gives you several different ideas that you could include in your newsletter. The purpose of a newsletter, of course, is always to inform and, you know, maybe entertain your readers, mostly to keep them aware of what's going on with your group. Remember that this end product is designed for printing and mailing, so be careful with your margins and make sure that you're filling an even number of pages. That means this is a minimum two-page assignment. Remember that everything that you're doing is going to be done on a standard printer, so you need to have enough room that it prints out all of your words. In other words, don't have text right up against the margin. And you can have as many pages as you want. Just make sure that if you have a one, there's a two. If there's a three, you must have a four and so on. You have to have an even number of pages. The parameters for this assignment include that it must be prepared for print, not for seeing on a screen, that you have at least one main title and several headlines as well as some subheaders. You have to have at least three images but it will probably go better if you include more than that. You must have copy or text, several different articles or stories, a good amount of text to read. There should be no more than three fonts overall. This is not a crazy ransom note. It has an even number of pages all completely filled in with information. You need to have clear evidence that you've planned it and put in some effort. You need to have correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation throughout. Make sure that you don't include any sort of a header on the top of your page with your name like you would for an essay. You're going to prepare this as if it is not an assignment for a class. Make sure that all of your images are clear, nothing pixelated, and make sure that you're constraining proportions so that it's nothing stretched or squished. Keep in mind that there are videos in the resources module that will help you achieve those goals. Make sure if there are any hyperlinks in your document that you take them out. You cannot click on a printed document, so instead you might want to choose a QR code for readers to scan with their phones if, they're trying, if you're trying to send them to a website. As always, this assignment is due by 11.59 on its due date. When you're ready to submit, you go to the submit link and the module. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and good luck.